All right, I'm the flat rate master, and today we're talking about the pros and cons of working for tire stores and chain stores. Now, I'm not going to name them by name because I don't want to be sued, but you know what I'm talking about. You're talking, to, we're talking about the Wally worlds of the automotive repair industry. They advertise on TV all the time. There's, you know, they're like a Starbucks. They're on, there's one on every corner. We know what we're talking about, right guys and gals? All right, again, in this series, you can tell I'm a negative person. So we're gonna go over the cons first. First one, and this is a big one for dealing with, with the chain stores whether it's a tire store or a repair facility that, you know, may do tires. Corporate BS policies. You're going to run into this a lot. Uh, one of the guys that worked here worked for a chain store down in Florida. One of their policies was if somebody came in with a tire problem before close, you had to stay there until it was fixed. So all of a sudden you're running way late to get home because customers are having flat tires and that kind of stuff. That's some of the stuff you're gonna have to deal with. You're gonna have to deal with corporate coming down and saying this store's, you know, payroll's too high. Next thing you know, Corporate BS policies. These are going to be, you know, like a guy that works here, worked for a chain store down in Florida. If somebody came in with a flat tire at close, you had to stay late to take care of that customer. No matter what. That If you didn't do it, you were fired immediately. So that's some of the BS you have to deal with when you work for a chain store. You've got let's say corporate decides the payroll for that shop is too high no matter what the ratio is to how much it makes or anything they come down and say payroll's too high your pay plan's getting cut now it doesn't happen all the time but it does happen you've got a revolving door with a lot of those shops you've got techs in and out you got service writers in and out you've got you know store managers in and out you're always if you're a longtime employee you're gonna have to deal with that all the time you're gonna have to do deal with new service writers new store managers new techs all around you if you go on any of the job sites there's gonna be pages of listings for those chain stores there's a reason they have such high turnover. Now, part of the reason why they advertise constantly is to keep a stream of tech candidates up for in case somebody leaves. Other reasons are is because they're turning techs that fast because, well, they don't pay very well in most cases. Now, there's exceptions to everything, but in a lot of cases, they don't pay well. You're going to have a lot of, let's say you're a more experienced tech and you go to work for one of these chain stores, you're going to be dealing with a lot of low-end techs that just came out of tech school and you're going to be expected to, to help them even though you're not compensated. Here at this shop, I'm compensated for helping all the other techs. So you're going to be expected to deal with that even though, you know, You've only been out of tech school for three years, but you're the top guy in the shop because the master tech, you know, left to go work somewhere else or got transferred, that kind of stuff. You're also going to have to deal with uh, a lot of hacks. You know, I mean, I'll give you a great example. We had a customer come in with a starting issue. It had been back to a chain store repeatedly, repeatedly, for a starting issue. 
So we get it. I got it. I go to start diagnosing it. It was simple as, it was a Honda. It was as simple as they broke the connector going to the starter solenoid, the, the Excite circuit. All they had to do was put a standard spade connector on it and the car was fixed. It took us no time. I mean, I think it took me longer to get the air box out of the way to, so I could get to the connector to start testing than to actually fix the car. I think we wound up doing it for free. Um, so you're going to wind up dealing with that. Another policy is cheap parts. They have national buying plans with different suppliers and their main priority is buy the cheapest part and mark it as high as possible. Part of that is, is one of the chain stores got sued for excessive markup on OE parts. So a lot of the chain stores do everything they can to not buy OE parts. What's that do for a technician who's trying to make money? You're dealing with bad parts that are going to not fit, not work, etc. You're going to have some junky scan tools. They're going to buy, you know, the piece of junk that they can, you know, ah, oh, that'll work fine for them. So you wind up buying your own. Um, again, getting back to that corporate BS, you're going to have managers that are so worried about their paycheck their numbers like depending on their pay plan they may be paid only on parts profit and so they're going to bump up the parts profit drop down the labor so all of a sudden as you as a flat rate tech pay got cut and you don't really know why so ethics is not really required for working at those shops so you do have to be careful with that um, all right, the pros, small list, very small list. You're going to have some good equipment. You're going to have probably the latest Hunter um, or, you know, the competitive products for alignments. You're going to have some really good tire changing equipment. <clears throat> and if you, let's say your wife has a job where she gets transferred a lot, it's really easy in a corporate structure like that to get transferred to another town. So let's say you're working in, you know, Alabama and your wife gets transferred to New Jersey. Well, pick up the phone to corporate, go, my wife's getting transferred. I've worked for you guys for 10 years, you know, this is where I'm going, what do you got that I can go work at? So it makes that really easy if that's your situation. The last one is you can make money at a chain store. Don't get me wrong, you can make money at a chain store. And big caveat here, being honest, you can make a lot of money at a chain store. Because you know what? They've got a lot of cars coming in the door every day. If you're a skilled technician, you can make a lot of money at a chain store. So there's pros, there's cons with every job. I'm just trying to lay it out for the guys coming out of tech school so you kind of know what direction you want to go. So I am the Flat Rate Master. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get updates when I put out a new video. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.